with me now the Don's new left back, Lee Brown. It's been called the greatest story in English football. How does it feel to be a part of it? Yeah, no, it feels, it feels good to obviously come to a club with such great history, you know. So it's um, one that I've, I've watched from afar. Um, but now being in the building is, is, is something that I want to get my teeth into and sort of and be part of moving forward. What's been the kind of like the timeline for this transfer? Has it been fairly easy to do? Yeah, I think I've. I've <laughs> So so yeah, I think it's, it's been a lots of twists and turns, but it's happened quite quickly. Um, but yeah, we, it's, it's it's over the line now, and hopefully we can and look forward. But yeah, your meetings with head coach Mark Robinson, how did they go? What kind of stood out for you in that? Yeah, no, just his his attention to detail. Really, um, I met him during the week, um, and we went through different presentations and such, and just showed me what he wanted from me, what he expected from me, um, a little bit about the group of lads we got here, the history of the club, which obviously I knew, I knew anyway. Um, but yeah, no, really impressed with the attention to detail and, and it's exciting times ahead. I think it's going to be a really important signing for us. Um, the, the recruitment panel said, you know, losing Oli, do they think that we needed a bit of experience coming in? Obviously, you know, we're, we're looking for a forward option as well. But they also said with the money from Oli, do they felt that we needed um, a bit of experience in a key area, which I said, would be great if it if it's the right person, and um, I then went to meet Lee and I spent sort of two three hours with him, and um, I think he's absolutely the right person. Obviously a quality player, um, but it's also bringing in the right experience. You know what, what does experience look like? And after speaking to him for at length, it's exactly the sort of experience that we want to bring in. Training with your new teammates this morning, you only know of Alex Woodyard coming into the building. What was it like then? Yeah, obviously I played against most of them quite a few times you know and we've, we've had some good battles um, so I was just laughing a joke this morning I think I've kicked a few of them um, <laughs> last time we played them so it's always nice to see them in the, in the changing room but no yeah look yeah, they've made me feel really welcome and hopefully we can have some good times together. Absolutely the final piece of this amazing jigsaw that we've got the brand new stadium what have you made of it you've been there yeah? Yeah I looked around the, funny enough I looked around the stadium quite a couple of years ago um, when it was just a shell um, and obviously coming back now, obviously playing there and now looking in the home dressing room is such a lovely, lovely stadium, brand new and it's such an amazing, amazing achievement for everyone involved to, to get that and it's the basis of, of a good football club, a new stadium and hopefully we can kick on from, from there as a platform. Absolutely. Um, you're a very popular figure of course at Portsmouth, was it a tough decision to move on? Depends who you ask there. <laughs> say 50-50 split. No, no look, it, I've, I've had nearly four great near coming up to four years there some some amazing memories we we've had numerous Wembley trips we've won trophies so look, I've I've made some really good friends there especially behind the scenes um, yeah it's, a, it's always tough leaving um, especially when you've been there and you have such good connections with people but it was probably the right time it's probably the right time for all parties um, but yeah it's, it's never nice nice thing but I couldn't have asked for a better club to come to of course, before that, I mean, you were with Bristol Rovers, you played so many games in the league already, you kind of endeared yourself to the fans there as well over the years, yeah? Yeah, no, I'd had some great times at Bristol Rovers as well, you know, there, seven, eight years, won promotions, and the same, the same there, that I've, I'm still friends with that squad and them squad of players and the people behind the scenes now, and some are my, my best friends, you know, um, but yeah, I love I've had some good times and I want to, I want to continue to have good times and I feel like I can, I can have that at Wimbledon but yeah Brist Bristol was a similar sort of club like this it's, it was it was a small club a family run club where the fans were tight knit with the players and we didn't really have that at Portsmouth as such but it was still it was still a massive club all big clubs and no I'm, I'm just looking forward to the challenge ahead seems a real leader as well good character exactly and that's it um talk to him about everything that we want to achieve here and what we want to do and he obviously knows we're young he's played against us you know and he's seen how young we are and been impressed with us um but i said you know i need the right sort of characters in the right sort of experience that are going to help these young players learn and learn possibly quicker and it, that's exactly what what's attracted him as well and you know so it's absolutely perfect he's at his first session today and he's shown all those sort of characteristics and leadership skills that I hoped he would, so it's, it's an exciting signing for him. Well, this really is a fans club. I mean, the, the fans yeah. you know, resurrected the club. 
got the stadium back and everything. So how much are you really looking forward to, to getting to know then? Yeah, I, I think it's a great story. You know, for me, I think it's massive. I think I was, I was talking to the manager you know, at Bristol. We we went for a period where we there was a, such a divide between the players, the staff, the fans, and we built something there. What sort of bring everyone together and I think it's so so important to bring everyone together as a whole no one can achieve anything on their own and I think it's such a, such a strong impact when everyone's so connected the fans the players the staff the backroom staff the people you don't see day to day the tea ladies it, when everyone's together it, it, it's a strong strong bond and um, it's how you get success for me and I think we can build something similar here. And of course, through your career as well, I mean, Salisbury, Hazen Yedding, Bristol Rovers, you scored against us, Portsmouth, you scored against us twice last season. So you know all about the AFC Wimbledon story from the outside. Yeah, yeah, look, I'm, I live local. My granddad used to support Wimbledon. Oh, um, right. So yeah, it, my, my father-in-law supported Wimbledon. So it's, it, it, I, know, I know the story really well. I'm a local, local boy as such. So I'm really excited to come look I've got people screaming at me for tickets already for, <laughs> for Saturday, so they're going to hate me. Um, but look, I'm really, really excited to be here. As I say, I'm, I'm, I'm local to here. I'm, I'm 15 minutes down the road, which is all my friends are close, my family are close, so it's, it's exciting times. But of course, back in 2011 as well, you made your Bristol Rovers debut against us when we when we came into the Football League. You got any memories of that occasion at yeah. all? Yeah, I do, yeah. It was a, it was my debut for Bristol Rovers as well, um, and it was such high expectation that day of we made nine, I think we made 19 signings that summer, Bristol Rovers, and we thought we were going to go straight back up to League One. I, I do remember it vividly. Jamie Stewart, Charlie Adamino, I think scored for us. Yeah. Yeah, and Scott McLeish scored for us. <laughs> yeah. I've done a backflip at the age of 32 yeah. or something. <laughs> oh, that's what I remember. But no, great times. You know, I played played at Kings Meadow. Lots and lots of times. I've played it now, played it a, a couple of times yeah. now. So look, I, I know the club inside out, really. Um, so look, it's not probably another club I would have wanted to leave Portsmouth for than, than Wimbledon, for sure. Goals um, at the moment is a, is a topic with us. We need them. I mean, through your career, even though you're left back, you've come up with them. But that's that's not what you're predominantly here for, <laughs> though, is it? You're building this expectation up too much. I'll be honest with you. People are going to expect goals. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, yeah, let's not big it up too much. No. I, I like to pop up now and again, but it's not my forte, I'd say. But yeah, throughout my career, I've always got the odd goal for sure. Um, but yeah, let's let's not build that up too yeah. much like they're expecting. Yeah, Four, yeah. Five goals or so. What's what's Robert said that he wants from you though? I think he just wants a little bit of leadership. Mm. You know, it's obviously a young squad, a bit of leadership, a bit of know-how, and just just a good person around the place. And for a football-wise. He, he's told me what he wants from me. He wants me to get forward. He wants me to defend. He's, he basically wants me to do everything I feel like I can bring to the team. So um, it's exciting times, and I think it fits me right now perfectly. Um, but hopefully, I can relate that onto the pitch because it's all right saying it, but if you're not producing, it's a different story. Of course. Um, and you picked out your shirt number? Yeah, let's not talk about that, I don't think. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I think there's not many squad numbers um, about, so I think I, they've given me 55 or something okay. like that. I think, don't yeah. quote me on that, but yeah, I think so. But, you know, tomorrow, possibly getting out there, making your debut in front of those fans, putting on the Wimbledon shirt, that's what it's all about for you now, yeah? Yeah, oh, for sure. Look, I'm, I'm, itching, I'm itching to get going. Um, I don't know what the team is tomorrow, but I'm itching to get going, and when my chance comes, then then hopefully I can take my chance. But I'm, I'm itching to get going. I want to play. I want to I wanna play in front of the fans. I want to try and help up, help the boys and... We've got such a young squad, I want to try and help them, you know, I want to try and, these boys have got some great careers in front of them, mine, it's not really, I'm going to get a move anywhere now, but for these boys, it's for me just to watch and watch them develop and hopefully they can kick on, I can watch from afar and see them kick on in their careers. But I mean, the first thing, of course, you know, is they're going to be looking to put away from, from the wrong end of the table, but, you know, there's still the potential there with this young group to finish as high as we can this season. Oh, for sure, yeah, I think, I think the... The maximum Wimbledon have got in their history in this is 57 points. Now the target is now is to is to beat that, and it's not about relegation at the moment. Let's beat 57 points. Let's let's make another record, um, and that's our target. You know, let's let's beat, let's let's go and create some records and, and get our names on the the record sheets. Good to hear the Dons fans all love that. Lee Brown, welcome to Wimbledon. Thank you.